Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Recipe Roulette. This is a bonus episode, and Laura's going to explain to you why it's a bonus episode. So, as you might recall, we had originally planned for the second episode of Recipe Roulette to do a shrimp gumbo. This was pre-hurricane, when Hurricane Ida hit. Um, it caused us to be unable to get locally sourced shrimp, which is what we strive to do. We like to use local ingredients whenever possible. And until the fishermen and the shrimpers are back at work, we have put that recipe on pause. So in the meantime, we have pre-chosen a recipe that we had ingredients for at the house because also because of the hurricane the stores have had limited food availability so and we had to clean out the entire refrigerator so we had sweet potatoes on hand and laura has this lovely cookbook simply in season and we flipped to the sweet potato section and found some sweet potato burritos recipe in the book calls for black beans, but we're going to be using red beans. So, it's red beans and sweet potato burritos on Recipe Roulette. Action. So for red bean sweet potato burritos, we need sweet potatoes, and these are from our local farmer's market pre-hurricane, an onion, and yeah, it was supposed to be black beans according to the recipe. We had red beans on hand. So I've got my red beans I've pre-cooked in the Instapot. And for seasoning, I'm using cumin, cinnamon, and salt. Salt is on the table. Thank you. Welcome. And I'm going to dice up the sweet potatoes, dice up part of the onion. I'm going to saute that in a frying pan. And when they are uh, tender, Wrap them all up in the burrito with the beans and the spices, add some cheese. The recipe calls for cheddar. We're actually using Gouda, again, what we were able to get. Um, and put it all in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to dice these up and I will see you in a minute. So we've diced up the sweet potatoes and the onions, I have them in a frying pan with a little bit of oil and just letting them cook. The recipe says to add a little bit of water or apple juice as needed to prevent sticking. So that's where they are right now. Okay, so our sweet potatoes and our onions are all cooked up in the frying pan. I'm going to add the beans to this. And our spices. Add some cumin. salt and I think we definitely do the, the spices anyways season as you like it to taste and don't really measure spices I don't know about you all so kind of combining this and then give it a little taste test and season as we think it needs. It's 
got enough cinnamon. Needs a dash more cumin and a little bit more salt. Yeah, I think I was being a little too aggressive with the cleaning. Yeah, it was pretty easy to do. Yeah, you just oil it up, put it in the oven, let it set, let it cool. Okay. Taste test number two. I think it's good. Why don't you check? Okay. Mm. All right. Well, let's swap spots, and I'll start putting the wraps. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm gonna need a spoon. Take a spoonful. Another spoonful. The cheese. Always when you're making burritos, you tuck the ends in, roll them up, and of course, they are going to fall completely apart. I remember how to do this. I used to be a sam Subway sandwich artist. Granted, that was like... Roll up the rest of these and then we'll come back. Okay, so I've got my burritos wrapped up. You can see clearly as I went along, I got better at it. And these are gonna go into the oven for 20 minutes. I already got it preheated to 350. Slide that in there and we'll be back for plating. So, all right, almost food time. So burritos are done out of the oven. It smells delicious. Oh, I'm excited to try it. First bite. Thank you. Bite into it. That's really good. I would not have thought to put cinnamon into a burrito but it just brings out the sweetness of the sweet potatoes. And it's amazing. Yeah, nice all around flavor. Mm. Okay, moving on to our next recipe. So I grew up with the Betty Crocker's cookbook. Uh, that's why I have a copy of International Edition because I found it at a Not Goodwill, the other one. Where we've been donating. Salvation Army. Oh, Goodwill. Where we've been donating a lot of stuff that we don't need anymore. So I found a copy of the International Edition of the Goodwill in Bangor, Maine. Picked it up so because Mom had the hardback version of the Big Berry Crocker book cookbook. Found this while we were in Clarksville because we went up to visit my nephew uh, Nick and his wife Danielle. Put us up for the for a couple, for the weekend, so we could have a place to stay where we'd have hot water, electricity, internet, you know, all those nice luxuries that everybody's become accustomed to. AC. 
Yep. It's nice. Clarksville is in Tennessee, by the way. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I found a copy of the Betty Crocker's cookbook. It's actually the paperback version, so it's like 803 pages long. So, it is going to be what we're going to select the next recipe out of now that we can actually get around. If it's seafood, we're going to redo. If it's meat, we will look at it and possibly make a vegetarian option of it. But would you like to do the honors? I would. Okay, so we got... We got cheese enchiladas or cheese fondue. We've done a lot of Mexican so far. Should we go with the fondue? Cheese fondue. Cheese fondue. So join us next time on Recipe Roulette where we'll be making cheese fondue from the Betty Crocker Cookbook 6th edition. All right, thanks for joining us. We're going to get some food into our bellies. So until next time. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.